This is Apocalypse, Drayton Manor's drop tower. Or I should say, it was Apocalypse, because of, as of today, the 30th of October 2022, Apocalypse is closing forever. Apocalypse opened over two decades ago in the year 2000. The debut of a massive drop tower at Drayton Manor, a regional theme park in the UK, was big news. There simply wasn't anything else like it. Standing a colossal 54 meters, 177 feet high, Apocalypse towered over everything else. Its height wasn't the scariest part of the ride though, no. Apocalypse also opened as the world's first drop tower to feature standing seats. I think it's really cool the different options you've got. Sit down is like a fun, you know, generic experience. Then you've got standing floored where you can stand up and there's a floor below you. With this, Drayton Manor wanted to make their ride even more thrilling. But they decided it wasn't thrilling enough. So in 2002, Apocalypse opened with a brand new fifth tower. Alongside the two sit down and two stand up towers was a brand new stand up floorless option. This removed the ride's stand-up floor entirely, placing nothing between you and the ground below. The standing floorless was really, really unique. I didn't always want to do standing floorless because you were kind of hanging in on a bike seat. I don't know, I, I just like that you had different options. On top of all this, Apocalypse had yet another feature up its sleeve to terrify you. During the initial climb, the three stand-up towers would tilt forwards 15 degrees. This was horrifying. Not only could you see more of the ground below you, but your full weight felt like it was resting on the restraint in front. It was unnerving to say the least. No wonder Apocalypse was voted both Britain's scariest ride and the best thrill ride in Europe. I think I preferred standing with a floor. You know, standing just adds that extra punch to it. Apocalypse wasn't just about the drop though. It was the anticipation beforehand that made the fall so much sweeter. After boarding the four-person ride vehicles, you would begin to climb, slowly at first, very slowly, building up to the main event. Then, suddenly, you'd climb faster, revealing more of Drayton Manor until you were 54 meters, 177 feet high. At this point, you simply waited. The camera in front of you took the obligatory on-ride photo while you were too worried to care. Then, out of nowhere, You plummet towards the floor, reaching speeds of up to 80 kilometers per hour, 50 miles per hour. After just four more seconds, the ride was over. Apocalypse was conquered. It's a good drop tower, I'll miss it. I've done a few towers now, and that's the only one which really has a feeling of like plummeting down. I think the drop's really good. It really forces you down. The building around it is really cool as well. The Apocalypse building helped to make the ride even more unique. From the outside, riders disappeared into the building without slowing down. On the inside, the industrial-like design made it even more intimidating. Plus, whilst on the ride, you didn't have time to process the height. By the time you had cleared the building, you were already high above the ground. I used to be afraid of drop towers, but I owe it to Apocalypse for overcoming that fear by riding it over and over and over again, pretty much, until I, you know, I was no longer afraid of drop towers. Since conquering my fear, I've been able to ride many other drop towers around the world. Some less scary than Apocalypse, others even more terrifying. I owe it all to Apocalypse for being brave enough to even try other drop towers at theme parks. Despite no longer being afraid, it still provides a fantastic punch, a pure falling sensation. It's a real shame that it's going. I'm going to miss it so much because, you know, it's such a staple attraction of Drayton Manor. There it is on the skyline. It's, it's a fantastic ride and it's been at the park as long as I can remember. So it's very much within the identity of the theme park itself. But I'm interested to see what's going to come next. And there is something coming next. We know Drayton Manor have big plans in the pipeline, something new and exciting. Over the past few years, the park has been improving drastically. A refresh of various areas, coupled with the reopening of former rides, has brought Drayton Manor back to life. Most recently in 2022, the park debuted Vikings, a brand new themed area. Vikings opened with three new rides, the major additions being Thor and the hypnotizingly interesting to watch Loki. 
as well as a renovation of the former Buffalo Coaster, now named Jormungandr? So, what's next? Well, we're not entirely sure. What we do know is that Apocalypse was the second ride in that region of the park to close, the first being Pandemonium, a thrilling pendulum ride which closed at the end of the 2021 season. Our best guess is that the area around Apocalypse, including the buildings nearby, will be removed to make way for a new themed area. Its flagship ride? Perhaps a new roller coaster. Time will indeed tell. Until then, Apocalypse will be missed. On its last day, us fans of the ride got together to celebrate 22 years of thrills and have one final ride. The sun set on Apocalypse for the last time, giving everyone the opportunity to experience the thrilling drop tower at night. Then, after its final riders, Apocalypse went dark for the very last time. Next time I go to Drayton Manor, things are going to look very different. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you all next time. Hi. Oh yeah. At least it's sunny. Yeah. Oh! Oh, God. It's really good. It's very good.